Welcome back to Impossible Color. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple exposures from just one portrait to create a well-balanced image. Anyone who's dabbled in landscape photography may be familiar with creating HDR images using a tripod and multiple bracketed exposures in the camera. But the big difference here is that we're just going to be using one photo. In order to do this, you need to shoot in Camera Raw. To start things off, I'm going to be working in Adobe Camera Raw. If you want to, you can use Lightroom or any other Camera Raw editor. Um, but really, it's just the theory that's important today. So you can see that this image that I took um, directly out of the camera and I shot for a mid-range exposure. So we do have some dark areas in the hair and some overexposed areas that are kind of showing up in the clothing here and also in the headband. You can turn on your clipping indicators up here for your blacks and your whites if you have trouble determining that on your screen. So if I was to work with this image, one of the first things I would do is go in and look at my exposure settings. And let's say that I want to look at the skin and I realize that I need to brighten that up a little bit. And although the skin is looking a little bit better, you can see down here that we're getting way overexposed on the shirt. And you can also see up here on the flowers and the headband, it's just not looking very good at all. And even when the skin looks decent, you still got issues with the eyes. There's not a lot of action there. You can't see any of the highlights or it's just not engaging. So what we're gonna do is just take one exposure that get it, gets it perfect for the skin. Take a snapshot of it and call that body. And then I would open that one up in Photoshop. Then I'd go back over and let's say I want to do one for the shirt. So I'll bring the exposure down so we're not clipping. here and you get the shirt looking really good and let's say that that was perfect we call that one the shirt open that version up in Photoshop as well let's say that you wanted the background to be a lot darker than the rest of the image to draw into the face you drop down the exposure for the background and etc etc you can do the headband separately any part of the image that you want now we're just going to load up into Photoshop I already did this process so you can see proper exposure for the body and then I did a separate one for the shirt I just cropped away the top part of it so you can see if I turn this off and back on the exposure looks much better for the shirt and the way that you're going to combine these images is actually pretty easy using layer masks. So you click on the layer and click on this little box with a circle on it, add layer mask. And what this does is wherever you paint in black, it will show through and wherever you leave it white, it will stay solid. So if I grab the paintbrush, And I can just paint this in black. Just doing it really quickly for the video now, but you could be a lot more careful if you zoomed in. And you get a combined image, something like that. So now you got the nice exposure for the skin and the nice exposure for the shirt. Let's do another example with the background. If you wanted to create, make the mask entirely black, if you hold down Alt while you're clicking the layer mask, it'll turn it black. It'll save you a bit of time sometimes. So now if I painted white, then I would get the dark background that I want.
Now you can use all different tools for making the selection of your mask. I find painting is the most accurate, but you can use the different selection tools in here if you'd like. And if I was to do the headband, do the same thing, create a layer mask, and we'll paint it uh, black to get rid of all of this area. Probably want to use a feathered brush to get around these areas here. Again, just doing it very roughly and you can do the same thing for the eyes. And if I was to group those all together into a group of layers, see a dramatic before and after. And just to show you, if you were to fine tune it, here's what I came up with. Final result, and here's the original. And that's all you have to do to combine multiple exposures from one portrait. Please thumbs up if you thought this was helpful and click subscribe if you'd like to get notified of new videos that I have coming out. I also challenge you to combine your own exposures and show off your portraits in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching Impossible Color. We'll see you next week.